with that being said, I would probably say I would buy at least. <laughs> Wow. Woo. Hey, everybody. I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And we are the Alkanots. And today, we travel back in time and visit a historical figure via a beer. Ray, tell us about our beer today. Alrighty. This week, we have General Bach from Blackburn Brew House in Niagara Falls, Ontario. This thing comes in at 7% ABV. It's 20 IBUs, and it is a Bach-style beer. Buck, 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 buck. Help me. Please help me. Oh, boy. Well, you know. Here we go. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's crack this baby open and let's find out what we got in this can. Absolutely. Because this week, this guy's thirsty. He's pretty thirsty. That is red. It is very red. Wow. Are all Bach beers red? I, I don't know, to be honest with you. Huh. We'll have to look into that. A little smokiness coming out of there. I got a nice uh, caramelly Ooh. looking amberness coming out of the can and into my glass. Did you say amberness? Amberness. I think I went to girl with the, uh, school with a girl named Amberness. And never saw her again. Let's try this baby out. Absolutely. And let's find out what we've got. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Cheers, everybody. There is a lot of malty, caramelly, a little bit of rye flavor. Yeah, it's a, it's almost like it's kind of clashing in my mouth. The hmm. rye kind of taste and the, I don't know if it's a caramelly kind of taste, kind of like smash right into each other. And then I get this, I can't describe it. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's weird. On the can, they say that there's a wonderful rye breadiness. Um, I'm not getting the bread sort of notes. Uh, I don't know, man. I am getting a little bit of the rye now that we're kind of talking about it. It's almost a rye that you would get from a, a barley wine. This is what box is supposed to be? I don't know. We're gonna put the beer fact card and you decide what this is supposed to be. I do love the color. I was really excited when I saw the color of this thing. I like a reddish style toned beer usually. There's usually a lot of flavor. Something's in my mouth and I don't know if I want it there. Yeah, I don't know. This, this beer seems almost sweet to me and I don't know if it's supposed to. I can't say I'm enjoying it. Well, I can't say I'm not enjoying it because I, I still want to drink it. I don't know why. I, 100%. I don't dislike this beer. I don't know if this is one of those things that kind of has to grow on you to Could enjoy. Could be. Right? I should have bought more than two. I don't think that would help right now. No. But, uh, right especially now, being at 7%. That could be the that could be the barley wine kind of rye taste. Or Could tasting. be. This is 7%. But I don't think that's what it is. A little too much is going on. And I don't think I'm yeah. appreciating any flavor right now. It says that Sir Isaac Brock loved to take romantic candlelit strolls and spend time in the garden with his 37 pet rabbits. Oh, and he also collected toothbrushes. But above all else, he loved irresistibly malty, tasty, traditional German lagers with amazing nose and wonderful rye breadiness. Hoping that's what I was going to taste in this, but maybe that's the problem here. I read this before I tasted the beer. First off, I don't know how they know General Brock. Enjoy the stuff, unless it was like in his diary. Memoirs? Dear diary, oh, the war is going splendidly in our favor. We just burnt down the White House yet again. <laughs> I have this penchant for my beautiful pet rabbits and a wonderful German lager. I really hope someone names a beer after me and calls it a Bach. Even though it should be a lager. And I like toothbrushes too. Did you know he was originally supposed to die? Who, Duke or General Brock? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> General Brock was supposed to die, but he later became Abraham Lincoln. I don't think we've ever had a Bach. Have we I don't think we have. I think this is the first time. I think we might have to revisit it again. Not this particular box, but yet another box. Not another box, just to find out if yeah. box are if like it's similar. This. So maybe we should do that for the next episode. Do another box? We could, it could be box to box, box. I know we've had uh, a guest host on recently. That was a very impressive chug. I honestly would love to take the best of our best chuggers <laughs> and just have them go at it. Chug like, off? A chug off, but like 
it'll be like uh, March Madness style. Yep. So we get like Joe do, do from brackets. Facts yeah. versus you know Dave. Like absolutely. Yeah, we and we take top seeds versus. Yep. Yeah, get Brian the beer snob up. He was his chug was very he's, impressive. It was very impressive. Very impressive. Absolutely. Um, um, that would be kind of cool. It would be. It'd be and it'd be a great way to reconnect with our beer friends. It would. Like I'd be like in the final bracket, and I'm. It's like the boss. Okay, first off, the you, chug boss. You don't get a buy. You're in. Oh, the, okay. You're in the lower okay. seatings. You okay. Get, you've got to compete. You All right. Get in there. I'm in. So we looked into your ceiling. Uh, how's your plumbing? <laughs> <laughs> Plumbing's great. Uh, no issues there. Uh, I don't think we need to inspect that. Um, so for four dollars, I bought a frosty tag, and when I buy a combo, I get a free junior frosty for the entire year of 2022. I would love to have simple goals like that. <clears throat> and the worst thing is, I forget every time I go there. Honestly, if you got a frosty four times, you paid for it. Yeah, I haven't, but I haven't got one yet. I'm hoping it was a charity thing. <laughs> but it might have just been a scam to say, here, buy this thing for four bucks, and then you're going to lose it, and we got your four bucks. <laughs> I hope it was a charity thing. Wendy's is like, oh, yeah, charity, for sure. Uh, and we really do have a girl named Wendy here. Um, all right, right. I want you to explain the rules like we don't know what kind of beer we're drinking. This unnamed, unknown mystery beer is going to be thrown down our gullets, and we're going to enjoy it because it's wonderful. I'm going to count us back from three. When I say go, we're going to chug them. First one, put the glass back to the table, wins. Hmm. Ready? Yeah, I guess. Uh, All right, three, two, one, go. Check. Oh. Uh, I said our gullets, not our hands. That was pretty messy. I, I, I you tried. I, I really did. At the beginning, <laughs> you I was like, well, I'm going to do this. <laughs> and then... Uh, it really didn't work out very well at all. The one thing I noticed, a lot of times when you chug a beer, the flavor changes a little bit. There's a bit of a different flavor profile. You know, you're in, uh, more oxygen in, in the chug with the drink. But this one, totally one note the entire time. I don't know that it was a pleasant note. <sighs> with our scale of a can, a six pack, 12, a 24, or a keg, I don't think that I'm going to buy this again. I kind of concur with what you're thinking, Ray. It's the notes you're getting off it. I'm not I'm not getting really good flavors out of this. No. I don't even know what flavors I'm supposed to get. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I've never had a Bach before, so I don't know what a Bach's supposed to taste like. Is it, in general, just an enjoyable beer? I have to say, it really kind of isn't. Is it, you know, was it easy going down? I had a hard time bringing it back. This is indicative of Bach. I'm going to say Bach's aren't my thing, but right. I think we need to try other Bach's to find out. So I would get one can at least. Okay, fair enough. I don't think I could do more. I understand what you're saying, but I'm I'm going to stick to my, I would not buy another can of this one. And with that being <laughs> said, I am Paul. And I'm Ray. And we are the Alkanauts. Cheers, all. Take care. <laughs>